All right, so now we're going to learn how to build circle or bubble timeline. We usually use the circle timeline in order to analyze the changes of our time. And we usually use it to show the distinct values of different circles across multiple categories. So let's see how we can build that. Since we said it is change of our time, we need a date. So let's go and get the order date to the columns. And then we need one more dimension. Let's take, for example, the subcategories to the rows. And then we need our measure. It's going to be the sales. But now instead of dropping it to the columns or to the rows we're gonna drop it on the size since each data point can has a different size so tablo gonna show it as squares let's go and switch it to circles and now in order to have more data points in our view we're gonna go and switch the years let's take for example the quarter as continuous so let's click on that so now i'm gonna go and change the size of our view i'm just gonna go to the header and make it a little bit bigger and then we're gonna go to the axis and just make it a little bit smaller in order to have some overlapping so now let's go to the size and increase the size or make it a little bit smaller and then we're gonna go to the colors and reduce the opacity and now we can add more customizations about the design like for example let's take the sum of sales and put it to the colors and then let's increase as well a little bit the opacity so it looks better and as well depend on how you like it maybe you can go and add some borders so let's go to the borders over here i like the dark ones so maybe i'm just gonna go and make it more gray because here you can go and customize different stuff for example you can go and use two measures. So for example, instead of having the sum of sales on the colors, we can go and get the sum of profit. So let's go and get the sum of profit on the coloring. So now we can see in this one chart, we can see a lot of stuff. The change of our time, we can see as well the coloration between two measures in order to understand the relationship between them, where the size is going to indicate the sales and the color is going to indicate the profit. So this is really powerful and very great analysis in Tableau using the circle timeline.